everybody. My name is Amaya Desire from Big Goat Media. How are you doing today? I'm good. Hi, Amaya. Nice to meet you. So tell me, what gave you the idea to write Riches? Um, I mean, it was a couple of things, really. I, I, I love family business dramas. I think they're just really interesting, whether they're fictional or real life. Um, and so um, and I wanted to tell a family business story about a black family. So the bigger question was, what is the business going to be about? And that was a kind of bigger debate. My producers had talked about talked about the cosmetics industry, but I was like, I need more. And the more for me was adding hair to the hair piece to it, because I think mm-hmm. black hair um, is incredibly lucrative, but um, too often we're not sharing in the profit in that business. And also right. it incredibly politicized you know the the judgment and drama around what type of hair a black woman has so I felt like that business felt really like a a really fertile ground for stories about blackness but without it becoming too worthy or preachy and and visually as well hair and cosmetics is visually quite interesting so we could really have fun with how they would look Um, but that was the starting point really a, a, a business that offers us an opportunity to talk about what it means to be black and wealthy in the 21st century Yes, absolutely. I agree with you. I've had the opportunity to see um, the first five episodes. I'm on the edge of my seat. I'm super excited. I really enjoyed the show so far. Did you have um, any particular challenges with any of the characters that you had decided to bring into the show? Um, the challenge, it's, it's, I think it's probably the challenge with all shows where you have a large ensemble was to make them so not everyone could be center stage all the time, but make them distinctive enough that even when they're not center stage, the audience still knows who they are and still is interested in what's, what they're doing or the looks that are going between them, knowing that the drama between Alicia and Wanda, knowing the bond between Alicia and Gus. So always finding those moments for them to cross. And similarly, it's just, for me, it's about humanizing everyone. There are no heroes or villains. You know, they're all complex. You know, they can be, they're not just strong women. They're they're complex, capable women, but they also have daddy issues or intimacy issues. Um, and, um, you know, so kind of making sure that all the characters felt distinctive and very culturally specific, mm-hmm. but that also either, um, you weren't ever thinking that's a villain or I don't like that person. You're kind of seeing different sides of them throughout the right. episode. You make them versatile. And I, I agree with that. Did you have a, a particular favorite episode for the season one? Um, I don't think I have a favorite because I think about it as one whole story, mm-hmm. but you know, there are elements of each of the episodes that I really, really um, appreciate. Like, you know, just that opening monologue with Hugh, Stephen, uh-huh. telling us about the black I think that was very intention stating this is what the show is about this is about what we've achieved so that was important to me I loved having the flashbacks because I think it's it's about generational wealth so we see that they weren't always rich um, I directed episode four so that again has its own special place for me because okay. you know, I got to like take go out of the, we, we got to go to some of the more working class parts of London and see where they came from and see all the aunties and see the street markets and um, you haven't seen it yet, but I think there are some incredible moments in um, in the finale and Dacia, I director, you know, shot some really very specific. You really know you're in England in those episodes, but it also our character and our ensemble really put their stamp on certain worlds in that okay. episode. Yeah. Awesome. Well, congratulations on season one. I'm super excited to see the finale. Like I said, I'm on the edge of my seat. So congratulations and uh, hopefully many more to uh, seasons after this. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mia. Have a good one. Thank you. Thanks.